Good morning, everyone. What is going on? Miles here. Thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, please do not forget to hit subscribe down below. That's what everyone does, right? They point to the bottom. Good stuff. So I want to do a kind of a walkthrough install video. I didn't really want to do a video where you're just watching me lay my big butt on the ground and uh, just wrench away. Some people like that. I tend to just want to see the meat and potatoes. So Went ahead and installed the SC Project CRT exhaust. Uh, this exhaust is technically for an MT-09. Motivation, Jacob and his team out there were really awesome. They sent me this to um, do an official test fit. Um, being SC Project is still working on their XSR 900 specific kits. Now, a lot of people know that these fit. They didn't want to market it as for this bike um, in case there was other interference issues. We went ahead and did, like I said, an official test fit, see what the problems were or were not that would may or may not exist. So I'm gonna go over the tools you're gonna need. I didn't bring them all out with me, but I did bring one specialty tool out with me and I'll show you all that in a minute. So first of all, the kit looks great. It is loud as all get out. Um, and it sounds amazing. It's very raw, it's very visceral. We did the carbon and titanium tip. You can do a, a um, it's like a stainless or a titanium cover on the other finish, but we were able to get a carbon one, it looks really good. After about 100 miles or so, this uh, stainless is really colored in nicely. It's got kind of that bronzish gold color to it after getting heated up. And it honestly goes really well with the bike. Um, it's a different shade of gold, of course, because, you know, why not? We already have the gold on the forks and the light dusted bronze on the wheels and then, you know, yellow stitching for the heritage. So what's well, another shade of gold? But let's go over a few things. So one, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket. I definitely suggest using your shallow ones, not your long uh, deep mount sockets. Um, a 12 millimeter socket, a four millimeter Allen key for these button heads here. I believe if I remember it was a five uh, millimeter Allen head if you choose to remove your radiator this way. But you're also going to need a sh uh, some extensions, a definitely a long one and a U-joint for getting up in here. And I'll show you in a little bit why, but that is a very tricky part. But one of the main tools you'll need to get, and they're between five and eight bucks or so on Amazon, let me walk over here real quick, is a spring puller tool. This will make your life very easy to attach the exhaust springs. I will try to attach a link down below, but this will help you grab those springs. They're actually pretty um, tense and pliers, it gets tight. And on the other side, two of them go onto one section, so it's even tighter, but you're gonna use it to pull these right here. So it makes it really easy on and off this job. Um, I took my time, but the actual work time was only about an hour, hour and a half. Um, so let me show you, if I can, in here, let me climb down here. So as you can see, here's your header bolts, right? Inside there, see that little nut right up top there? That is holding on the lower bracket to right there. Now that is not secured in other than with that nut being in place. It actually, once you loosen it and the bracket comes loose, this slides out. Then you can push this forward a little bit to get some room. That's all you really need. I didn't really need it to get the exhaust off, but I did need it to, um, I needed it to uh, get everything back on, the new stuff fitted properly. So that is one of the big things. If you have extra hands or some bungees and uh, hooks, you can undo the top and let that whole radiator come forward, which will be a lot easier in hindsight. So again, that's an option, or if you have someone with little hands, they can, because getting back up in there, there's a little bit of a guard underneath, like about a flap about this big, underneath the fans to kind of protect them. And that, um, that hanger goes right up in the middle of it, so getting that U-joint up in there, it works, but it's kind of an odd angle. So it kind of keeps kicking itself off because it can only bend so much. Maybe a couple U-joints will help you, but you'll definitely need to get in there. Another thing is you'll notice the O2 sensor is on this side. So when you, when you route it, you're routing it from this side. So once you've removed everything, there are two 12 millimeter 
bolts. One is right here by your shift lever. You can get in there with a, with a short uh, 12 millimeter. It fits just by there. You will not reuse that once it's off. That is for the stock exhaust. You can pull this assembly off if you'd rather, but that's one 12 millimeter. And right here is another 12 millimeter. They will supply you with their own hardware to replace it with spacers, bushings wise, and everything fits. I've got enough clearance, nothing interferes. And then you're just gonna reroute, like I said, this O2 sensor. What I did was I ran it right in front of the reservoir underneath, so it's a little more hidden, and up into here. I had to cut the harness for the O2 a little bit. I, this is the best I've done right now until I can get to the parts store and um, get a new, uh, like a factory zip tie, it's a little bit cleaner. But you're gonna take these covers off. You're gonna undo the plug that's in here pull it over. I spliced it back some more so I could get some room because SC project does include an O2 sensor extension. So once you've been able to split this back a little bit, so you leave your blinkers here and my dumbass accidentally cut my ground for my TST blinker. So I need to get that fixed tomorrow, but that's an easy, small fix. And then you run the other side over the top and I just taped it up just to keep the seal extra, um, out of the elements right now. I need to actually undo it and reroute it underneath. When I did this, I didn't think about how I was routing it. So I'm gonna reroute it back underneath here and then down to here because in here is kind of full and then it's sitting right here. There's a guard and it's keeping it off the fan just fine. So that is how you'll install it. Um, another thing to check for, so I'm checking this by finger. I don't know why I'm doing that because I went ahead and tightened everything, but my factory, header studs or the bolts were actually quite loose sorry my allergies are getting to me today the weather change is killing me i was able to undo half of my header nuts pretty much by finger so uh there was really no, almost no effort on the ratchet to do it and they came right off so even if you're not going to change your exhaust just yet go in there and check those header uh header nuts because uh, it could be a factory thing, it could be during PDI. Either way, they weren't all that tight and you don't want anything rattling or coming loose. They could have come loose just because of vibration and they were new, um, but they, those still should have been torqued down. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you all um, a little bit of an exhaust clip. I have some befores, but I'm, I'd rather just do a one-shot video. We all kind of know what the exhaust sound like uh, stock. It's very quiet. You have the nice sound of the triple, uh, the intake, but here we go. So I'm gonna set this down to be a little rocky. I'm just one-handed today, so just bear with me, okay? Go ahead and give that a start and a couple revs. say this bike doesn't have a tune yet but i'll probably be running that from david at v cycle nut overall it's very loud i actually have a custom db killer coming from pipeworks exhaust out of the uk um it's not going to quiet it down a whole bunch but we're, we're estimating around four or five decibels i'm actually going to bring out the db meter for that and do a before and after but one other guy who did it with his mt09 he really noticed that it cleaned up some of the deep bassy stuff that would resonate in your ears, especially in a helmet, right? So like I would wear um, my earplugs and I didn't like it actually without earplugs, it was more pleasant because of the, because of the resonance and the deeper bass. So we're hoping that's gonna clean that up a little bit. 
Um, they weren't terribly expensive and they were very, really fast and their customer service is great. So if you're needing a custom DB killer for any exhaust, highly recommend them, at least from a customer service uh, response level already. And then I'll let you know some more. So for most exhausts, it doesn't really matter if you do SC project or not, uh, the install is gonna be pretty much the same thing. So you're gonna have your, your 12 millimeter on the headers, your 10 millimeter mini socket for the radiator, your four millimeter Allen head buttons. I believe again, it's five or six for the upper radiator if you need. And then 12, meter on the, 12 millimeter on this side and 12 millimeter on the other side. Plus, and I forgot one other tool, 17 millimeter uh, ra uh, wrench, or you can have an O2 sensor socket if you have one of those for the O2 sensor. Um, with an O2 sensor, please just put it in like a baggie, put it somewhere safe. You don't want to drop it. You don't want to get it dirty um, or you know get any gunk in it. So just put it to the side. They're expensive for what they are and they're very sensitive and fragile. So that's that, that's the install. Like I said, if you have any questions, just come find me on the Facebook page. I'll be happy to help you. But most uh, exhausts are all gonna be pretty much the same. They might have a few variances, how they, how they put together their mid pipe or something, or if they have a muffler, but the main mounting points are all the same until you get to the higher mounts where they might use like your foot bracket or whatnot. So thank y'all so much for watching and I look forward to uploading some more stuff for y'all. Uh, that'll help keep the channel going. I know the channel's new and relatively young, but I just want to bring you content. So please subscribe, please follow along, and we'll bring you some more stuff. Thank you.